Hello guys, so welcome back to our VG daily lessons. So in that lesson, we're gonna explore another uh, design, another approach to design the four-bit binary other that we, you know, uh, explored last time, last video. So the idea or the structure that we, or the, you know, the design uh, that we explored last time was something like this. It's a hierarchical design in which we implement the four full others, you know, four, four in full others in our design. Okay, uh, now we're gonna, you know, explore another approach. It's really, really nice. So just based on the equations that you have, that using generate statement, you can generate whatever number of them. So for example, we know that based on our lecture that uh, the sum at each or any uh, uh, stage of the binary other uh, is basically uh, the carry input XOR with AI BI or the two inputs of the carry other. BI here is just this XOR between them, AI BI. Uh, so for example, just to make this clear for S0 is the XOR of C node or C0, XOR with B0, XOR A0. Uh, S1 is C1, XOR with A1, X, uh, XOR B1. C, uh, S2 is C2, XOR with A2, XOR B2 and so on. Okay, whatever, whatever the number of stages you have. Okay, and the carry at each, uh, you know, uh, the carry output at each uh, stage again is uh, GI, which is just the two inputs, AI and BI, or with uh, the carry input and it with the XOR between AI and BI. So let's uh, do that using, you know, generate statement. So if we go back here, this is the design, this is our design. Basically, we have ex approximately the same entity, exactly the same input, uh, X, Y, X and Y, our two inputs, which is represented here by AI, BI. I just changed the names. And then the sum is our output and it's still four bits. And then the carry, which is a single bit. But I just named it version two, same, same name as the previous example, but I named it just version two because this is not exactly the same design. Okay. Uh, then we started the architecture. This is now behavioral architecture. Since we use equations, this is a behavioral architecture. It's not it's more, it's, it's not a structural architecture or you know design. Uh, what we need here, we need, uh, these are the internal signals. We need BI and GI or B and G. But since we have many stages, four in that case, we need four of them. Okay. Uh, so instead of instantiating or generating four signals, we just make one signal called B and B will be four bits. Again, for G, one signal, but as, as a vector was four bits. For the carry, how other uh, for the carry? If we go back to the uh, implementation here, we have C0, C1, C2, C3, C4. So we have five carries. So we have here uh, a signal called the carry signal, which is five bits. Okay, and of course, bit zero or carry signal zero is just zero. You know that, guys. When we add two numbers together using the four-bit binary adder carry zero is always zero. So here I, mean, I am, uh, you know, assigning zero to uh, the first bit in the carry signal, which represents the internal signal zero. Okay, what else we have? Then we generate these equations. You may say, okay, I have four bits. I'm writing four of them. I mean, for example, for S0, it's equal to C0, X or A0, B0, which is B0 here. And again, for S1, you know, S2 is, yeah, that's good. No problem with that at all. But if you have 32 uh, bits, if you have 64, what you have, what you're gonna do, what, what you're gonna do? It's, it will be really tedious for you. An error prone as well. So we're gonna use the generate statement as usual, okay? So uh, G1, again, this is just a label for the generate statement. You can name it whatever. And then we have a for loop here. Uh, from zero to three, because we have four signals for the SI and BIGI. SI is XI, XOR, YR, YI, XOR, Kelly signal of I. So for example, S0 will be C0, uh, Kelly signal of zero, which is C0. XOR is PI or B0, which is just A0, XOR, B0. 
okay? Uh, I'm gonna use B here with the carry to make the, you know, the equation shorter. So uh, B of, of I, this uh, signal here P, is equal to XI, X or YI, and G is equal to uh, XI and YI, not X or. G is the ending. Good. So that signal that generates, that, I'm sorry, that signal that, I'm sorry, that statement of the generate, that generate statement has generated for us the sums, the output sum, and also this internal signal BI and GI. Now it's time to generate the carry signal, okay? So here we have another, gen, uh, another generated statement, and here it's from one to four, that's why I make it another generated statement, not in the same statement here. So carry signal of I, for example, one, of course, we, we started it from one, not from zero, like the first one. This is another difference because we already know that carry signal of zero is zero, which is C zero. Then carry signal of one, for example, is equal to carry signal of zero, I'm sorry, P of zero and the carry signal of zero or G of zero. Look here always, I plus one, then here, here we have all the time I. I here, I here, and I here, okay? For example, carry signal of two, C2 is equal to P of one, and the carry signal of one, or G of one, and so on. Until we reach uh, C4, at I is equal to, uh, I'm sorry, uh, five. Uh, at I, sorry, I, uh, until we reach carry signal of four, which we started from the zero, so this is the fifth one. So this is will this will be C4. C4 is the fifth carry. This guy here. So one, two, three, four, five. Or zero, one, two, three, four. Okay. So C carry signal of, of four, uh, B of uh, uh, of three, and the carry signal of three or G of three. Okay, that's basically how to generate four, you know, uh, four equations to represent all the carries we have, okay? Uh, and remember, the carry signal output, which is C4, which I'm calling here C, the, the, the overall carry, is the last bit of the carry signal. So here we, we, we assign the last bit of the carry signal to the overall carry of our circuit, okay? So this is just, the implementation of these equations. I didn't do anything new. This is basically the same, uh, you know, or it's basically version two, you know, another, another way to code the same design. This is basically the same as this design, exactly. Okay, this is, this is by the way, the, the internal structure of one full other. This is nothing new. This is basically a full other. Any one of those full others, is basically from inside like this. But instead of doing it as structural and you know, import the package, you know, of the full other, no, we just write them as equations. And this program is, is general. Basically, you change here, you have four bit. If you have, for example, 32 bit, then you will have, for example, here uh, uh, 31 down to zero, 31 down to zero then you just change, you know, the I limit limits. Zero and three will be changed, you know, uh, to zero and 31. And here is one to four will be one to 32. Okay, so that's basically, you know, uh, how to do this uh, full other in another way. Now let's test that. And for the testing, remember, since the, uh, the internal operation is the same and also uh, the entity also the same. We can use the, the exactly the same test bench. So the test bench here is just the copy and paste. Copy exactly copy and paste of the one which is the version one here. That guy. I didn't change anything. O of course, except the naming, because here the naming is different for the entity and the stuff. You know, this is just the naming that has been changed, but everything is else is still the same. And here, of course, is, uh, you know, how to, you know, add zero and zero, zero and one, zero and two until 15, then one and zero, one, 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 two until 15, and so on until 15, 15, 15 plus 15. 
So we're gonna run this or test that. So simulate, start simulation, work. Then we're gonna choose Rebel Carry Other Version 2. Rebel Carry Other Version 2. Should be uh, down a little bit. Yeah, this guy, Rebel, Rebel Carry Other Version 2 Test Bench. So we're gonna take this here and make them radix as unassigned. Then we're gonna run for 300 nanoseconds and zoom out a little bit. Okay. And we can just, you know, take uh, any examples here, like for example, this one 14 plus one is 15, 14 plus two is 16, 17. And remember, 17 means 16, which is the carry is one and one from the sum, and so on. It will be exactly the same as uh, you know, the previous one here, for example, 14 plus eight, which is uh, 22, 22 is 16 plus six. Okay, here is for example, uh, 14 uh, plus nine which is basically uh, 23, 23 is 16 plus seven and so on. Okay. Thank you guys for watching this and stay tuned for the next videos. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.